Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Alliance War video. So this is season 33 and we're now in war number 6. So we've matched up against uh, JA here, Jedi, Assassins, Reloaded, Reborn, something. Um, basically the old ASR and Kenobi uh, merger. That this season has been pretty solid. I'd, I'd say they've, I think they've won every war up till now. Um, they've, they've been doing really, really well. We knew that they would be. They're, a, they're an alliance and a merger that was touted to, quote-unquote, like, challenge and stop GT40 from potentially getting war champs. So we knew this was going to be a, a nice, solid battle and a good war. And it turned out to be that again. Um, we just come out of War 5 where we matched uh, New Nation and had a really close war. So having two of these back to back is gonna make it very, very interesting. But hopefully we can uh, we can come out with the win. So you can see the Quake, Hercules and Ghost have been banned from their side. So the team that I've been given is Cable, Apocalypse and Arkham. And with this team, I'm just gonna quickly move up to seven. And I'm just gonna sit at Ebony Moor. I do have a look at what SIG this Ebony Moor is, and it's actually a new SIG one. So, the person who did this has put an Awakening Gem into Ebony Moor. And people call us crazy. So, anyway, it's showtime. We've cleared the boss. Global's gone. They've told me, right, get your ass in there. It's time to kick ass. Max boost, nothing less can be accepted. We need you to do this for everyone in the Alliance, clear your fights, get it all done, and we can come out with the win if everything goes perfect and the Alliance does well as a whole. Obviously, there's, there is a bit of competition, like I said earlier, between the two Alliances, and, and I know in some line chats and stuff, it even uh, has got a bit uh, frosty, uh, at some point but so ebony more on this kinetic transference node here so every time they hit my block they're going to gain power so my main aim is to try and heavy them as much as i can when i can uh, to try and keep that focus off me i use the power star one as you saw but because of um, uh, uh, ebony more even the ability kit it means that i don't actually start with a full bar of power i only get i believe 60 percent so the objective here is to wait for this fault timer to run out and as long as the timer isn't on like 32 by the time i throw a special two the next falter won't be in the catchment window and you can see there that i just get it with a few seconds to spare and that actually kills them so when you're this boosted with a rank 3 apocalypse, one, your health pool is insane. Two, yeah, the attack is pretty nice. And three, fights like that seem to go relatively fine. So next fight up is this Kingpin, a very common, like I guess you could call it quote-unquote meta uh, placement for defense this season. A weird little glitch happened there where... My screen just went weird after putting a few potions into Apocalypse. But that's fine. Um, here, I've seen a few people and a few different champs and combinations try and do this Kingpin. We're just going to absolutely blitz him here with uh, Apocalypse. So we're going to go in with the parry. And because of the Vivified node, so the 100% extra power gain, it takes like two hits, three hits for him to reach a special attack. I'm going to try and constantly bait special ones out for this if I can. Just because I don't really want to give them the special two opportunity. And brute force will tick our way and it will tick quite hard. But it won't be too crazy bad just because I have class advantage. And here I wanted to empty the power as much as I could before I threw the special two. Because I knew I'd give them quite a lot. And you can see here that by the time all that health had been taken off. It was just rinse and repeat, special two apocalypse, and that fight was done in, well, 50 seconds, if that. 
So now we're going to move up into section two now. And we're going to be given path seven again. So on here there is a cork. Uh, a relatively good placement. Um, I can understand the concept of this. The As you can see here, I'm topping up to uh, full with my health. Well, or at least like 99%. Um, we we couldn't take any risks. This war, you can see um, that when I was moving up to Korg, I had people saying, keep going, Matt. Um, I only had four fights, but when you get these fights to be done after the kind of war map's been cleared by everybody, and you know there's so much pressure on the line to make sure you clear this without dying, it is good to not have a crazy amount of fights. So here, this is the Rise to Power and also the Spite fight. So, if I have a buff on me at any point, uh, Spite will kick in, or potentially kick in, and then if I knock them down, there's a little timer that can appear, and if they hit uh, my block, or anything like that, for so many seconds, what that will then do is then it will give them a 30% of the bar of power. But you can see here, Apocalypse again just absolutely nuked these fights down so quickly. This, this is the reason why war for me is so weird. Like, I don't like boosting this high. I don't, I never have, never will. Um, yes, it's very safe. Yes, it's very careful. Yes, your chances of dying are so low, it's unbelievable. And that's what's good for the Alliance. But it's just, I don't know, it kind of makes me realise just how little fun um, when you kind of like God squatting with 65, 70k health pools. Um, these fights are. So here we have a Horseman Archangel on this Spider Ham, my final fight of the war. Whenever I did any duels for this, I missed every single initial parry. Uh, from Spider-Ham, so it was nice to uh, to get that in war. Here, I thought I dexed that part of the special, but apparently not. But we've got five neurotoxins. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my special one as soon as I get it, because that will stop him gaining any nonsense, and as you can see, he was already dead within 20-odd seconds. So, I had people watching me. Um, I kind of said I've been waiting all day just for them fights. Um... But yeah, we had the battle group and alliance mates watching everybody when they were doing the fights at this point. It was very, very close. Um, I took a screenshot of the boost just to show that I was boosted because they were asking for it. So you can see here, we ended up perfect clearing the battle group three and they died twice. And we ended up tying on uh, attack bonus, but we beat them on time. So that's unfortunate for them. Good luck to them for the rest of the season. And hopefully GT40 can keep the streak up and keep riding and see how long this goes for. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed these very short but very intense fights. And again, if people are enjoying, please keep coming back. Thank you very much for watching.